Throughout history, many Western kings and emperors have been considered mad for their extravagant behavior or illogical actions. But the cases of madness have also happened to some rulers of the Far East, as was the case with Sultan Ibrahim of the Ottoman Empire, also known as Ibrahim the Mad. Ibrahim was an important figure in the history of the Ottoman Empire, son of Sultan Ahmed I and brother of Sultan Murad IV. Born on November 5, 1615, Ibrahim became known for his actions as Sultan between 1644 and 1648. Although he was the son of Sultan Ahmed I, no one expected Ibrahim to become Sultan. He was Ahmed's eighth son, making it very unlikely he would ever inherit the throne. However, when Ibrahim was only two years old, his father died abruptly, starting a bloody feud between the heirs for the right to rule the empire. Eventually, Ibrahim's older brother, Murad IV, assumed the throne and brought some apparent stability to the empire. For Ibrahim, this represented only the beginning of a life filled with sorrow and suffering. As was customary at the time, Sultans had large harems of concubines and sons with many different women. Most of the princes had different mothers and there was little brotherly love between them. When he assumed the throne, the tyrannical Murad IV imprisoned all his siblings, including the little Ibrahim, in palace prisons called kafiz, a word that can be translated as cage. These were glorified prisons for their heirs to the throne. Ottoman princes were kept under constant surveillance and were never allowed to leave. Ibrahim was imprisoned as a baby and had no freedom for the next 16 years of his life. Ibrahim was not alone in the kafiz. Murad imprisoned three half-brothers, but as time passed, some were taken out of their cells and executed. Murad IV was a paranoid ruler and feared that his brothers would rebel against him, so he decided to eliminate them. During his 16-year reign, he executed the brothers one after the other, leaving only little Ibrahim. The boy lived in constant fear that his head would be the next to be chopped off. Ibrahim was a fragile child with serious mental health problems. Although Murad would not have hesitated to kill the other brothers, he did not consider Ibrahim a threat, so he let the boy rot in prison. Ibrahim remained locked up in the coffers, increasingly mentally unbalanced as the days passed. Murad IV was a strict ruler with the people, but his addiction to alcohol and vices eventually took a toll. Cirrhosis killed him in 1640, when he was just 27 years old. Before he left, he made a disturbing final request. On his deathbed, Murad ordered Ibrahim's execution. He knew of his brother's mental instability and told his advisors that he did not want a lunatic as Sultan. Kosum, Ibrahim's mother, had been the favorite concubine of the late Ahmed I, Ibrahim's father. With some influence at court, Kosum did not stand idly by at her son's execution. She intervened and denied Murad's wishes, saving Ibrahim's life. When Murad IV finally drew his last breath days later, Ibrahim assumed the throne as the new sultan of the Ottoman Empire. During his reign, Ibrahim implemented several important reforms that directly affected the Ottoman people. He established a new tax system that relieved the tax burden on the empire's poor population and built new roads and bridges to improve the country's infrastructure. Despite his relative youth, Ibrahim was considered a wise and intelligent man. He was fluent in several languages, including Turkish, Persian, and Arabic, and was a great patron of the arts. He was also a huge advocate of education and encouraged the establishment of various educational institutions in the empire. But Ibrahim is also remembered for his extravagant behavior and lavish lifestyle. He was known to spend a lot of money on gifts and parties, causing resentment among some factions of the Ottoman ruling class. Ibrahim quickly had three children with three concubines, but even then, his insatiable appetite for women caused him to spend much time in the royal harem. Ibrahim's obsession with his harem consumed most of his life. During his reign, the imperial harem achieved untold luxury. Ibrahim bought the finest perfumes, fabrics, and jewelry for his concubines. Another sign of Ibrahim's madness was his obsession with skins of exotic animals, such as tigers, lynxes, and leopards. It was said that in the palace, there was an entire room lined with animal skins. All this luxury quickly emptied the Ottoman coffers. In 1647, Ibrahim's political situation began to deteriorate. He was accused of corruption and of using his position to benefit himself and his allies. 
His behavior also led him to being accused of immoral activities, including drinking alcohol and having relations with lower class women. Ibrahim's mother was the only one who maintained some control over the mad sultan, but she even took advantage of the situation to rule the empire on behalf of her son. However, that situation quickly changed. Disgusted with his mother's treatment, Ibrahim decided to humiliate his sisters by electing his favorite concubines as members of the royal court and giving them the lands and jewels that had previously belonged to his sisters. They were princes of the Ottoman Empire, but even Ibrahim left them empty-handed. The war between the Ottoman Empire and Venice, also known as the Fifth Ottoman-Venetian War, further depleted Ottoman wealth. As a countermeasure, Ibrahim raised taxes on the population even further, generating a wave of revolt throughout the empire. In 1648, the fearsome Janissary warriors, the Ottoman's elite infantry force, also revolted against the Sultan. With the military against them, Ibrahim and his corrupt advisors had no chance of winning. Ibrahim was captured and imprisoned in Topkapi Palace. To Ibrahim's dismay, even his mother, who had defended him all his life, accepted that her son should be removed from the throne. Ibrahim was deposed from office and replaced by a six-year-old son, Mehmed. Ibrahim was executed by strangulation on August the 18th, 1648, while his mother and some government officials watched the mad sultan's passing from a palace window. Despite his sudden death, Ibrahim left a lasting legacy. Even though he fell victim to his own madness and committed extremely irresponsible acts, Ibrahim is remembered as one of the first Ottoman rulers to implement significant reforms to improve the lives of the empire's common people. Moreover, his passion for the arts and education continued to influence Ottoman culture for centuries.